Hi, did you know that you can use Bluebeam Review's overlay feature for more than two drawings and even drawings that are a different scale? So let's have a look at how we do this. So here we've got a drainage layout for part of the site. We've got the site levels layout. We've got the external works layout. And we've even got a site-wide uh, foundation plan. So obviously this one's at a different scale. So let's have a look at the overlay. We go document, overlay pages. We add all the open files. And we're gonna have to align the ports on this. And the one the part of the site I'm interested in at the moment is around this plot 140. So if I pick the corners of the house, first one, now on these first two or three drawings, everything's going to kind of line up quite well because they're all produced by the same engineer. So this is fairly simple. But on the last drawing, obviously the indicators we would have been given for plot her markups one, two, and three are nowhere where, near where they need to be. We we'll kind of come over here. Okay, and let's see what results this give us, gives us. There are obviously going to be a few different um, coloured lines because we've got drainage on this drawing, but um, I'm more interested in the external works. We've got some retaining walls here, we've got piles and patios. So. <coughs> Let's see what kind of results this gives us. This is running a bit more slowly than usual because I'm recording the screen. But hopefully it won't take too long. Here we go. Still processing. Don't worry about all the red. So this area here is where we're going to be looking in a minute. Here we go. Right. We've got quite a few different colours on here. We've got our layers over here. So let's turn a couple off and see what we can work through one by one. So we can see this layout here. We've got a patio here. We've got a bit of a path here by the looks of it. We've got a gate coming in here doesn't go on to anything, but um, let's move on to the next drawing. Right, well we can already see we've got a different patio layout. We've got some levels added now, but um, okay. Moving on again. We've got another patio layout. Um, yeah. Then moving on to the last bit, which is the structure engineer's drawing with the retaining walls. Okay, so we've got one drawing with an external level of 8.7. We've got another drawing with a level of 9.3. 9.3 here, 8.7 here. We've got various different path layouts from the civil engineer and we've got a retaining wall layout which won't work with any of the footpath layouts so the retaining wall layouts come from the structural engineer which um yeah is not particularly useful it suggests that the 
civil engineer and the structural engineer need to get together. Now, let's have a quick look down here, what's happened down here as well. Do the same kind of thing again. Turn off the later layers. So that's the drainage layer, which is obviously not got any retaining walls on it. But, um, so this is where we start introduce, introducing the site levels, retaining walls through here. Um, okay, that's all fairly straightforward. We've got some different colours over here, but it's not too bad. Um, another layer. <coughs> well, this is where it starts to get quite interesting because this is the civil engineer, and here it's got some paths coming up through here that are retaining will come through here, but we've got no steps in the paths, and we seem to have some different layouts. Well, the original drawing only had a patio here, but now we've got all of this. And let's introduce the last one. This is the structural engineers. Let's get, turn those off. Structural engineer and the civil engineers seem to be roughly the same through here, but we seem to have some different details over this side. There's some hidden steps going on up through there, which are on one drawing, but not on another drawing. Um, yeah, all in all, I would suggest that the, uh, the two of these uh, engineers need to get together and get their drawings coordinated. But at least you can see on here, as I say, it's more than one drawing that we've overlaid, and they are not all to the same scale. Very useful little exercise.